This happens to be the unfortunate season known as an election campaign. It's a season that grows longer with every cycle. It's interminable. It's unnatural, like hockey finals in June. We have excessive heat, drought, and politicians. All sure pestilential signs that God has turned his back on us. The political ads are everywhere, and unavoidable. They are stuck to everything on the internet, making it a kind of gigantic poisoned well. Television was already a septic tank, but with the campaigning there are fresh turds floating everywhere in the mix. Those political ads, such a waste of resources at a time when we have little or none. So much money spent for so little purpose. Those ads are so depressing and disappointing, and so frequent, a constant drumbeat. The campaign strategist must be thinking, if we bludgeon them with these ads, eventually they'll succumb. Maybe it works. I look at them and think, the great American experiment in democracy has come to this? Shrunk down to two nasty little twits, banging away at each other. Don't worry, I'm not going to go on about how dreadfully bad this is. I will just make note of three things. First, and you might already know this, but just in case, if someone is wearing a suit and tie, they are lying to you. Period, and no exceptions. They are lying to you, and they want to take your money. If they shed the coat, loosen the tie, and roll up their sleeves, they want you to give them your money. And they're still lying. Next, music and movies, the soundtrack, usually bothers me. It's completely manipulative, commanding you to feel a certain way. It's like canned laughter. Advertising uses music to accomplish its ends. The music in political ads is particularly offensive. It's worse than insipid. It's vile, because it's a lie. It goes with the suit and tie and the lapel pin. It promises greatness. It holds out hope. Mine eyes have seen the glory, knowing that many will fall for that because, after all, that's what we want. Greatness. Hope. So the politicians are like kids on Halloween. They dress up in the costumes of greatness and hope, trick or treat, and we give them our candy. As far as music and political ads is concerned, if you hear an acoustic guitar or piano, run. Third, there isn't a sucker born every minute. There are thousands of suckers born every minute. They grow up to be voters. That's a seller's market, and the politicians are selling. And finally, okay, I said three, so I lied. Big deal. We'll call this 3B. I'm not sure why, but something I find especially annoying is that the final burst of flatulence at the end of each political ad, when the candidate says, my name is blah blah bluey, and I approve of this message. This isn't exactly new. They've been doing this for a few campaigns, but they didn't used to say this. I don't know who started this or why, but now for sure they all do it. My name is Blah Blah Bluey, and I approve of this message. In a world chock full of bullshit, this takes the cake. That is what this is, a slice of bullshit cake. Would you like a piece? He approves of this message. Of course he does. What is this message? Vote for me. He's all for that. Here, have a piece of bullshit cake. Did Congress pass a bullshit law saying that all candidates had to add this tag onto their ads? It's nauseating. After you sit through the bullshit pitch, the music, the flag, the man in the suit, they hit you with that. My name is Blah Blah Bluey, and I approve of this message. Significant words from the man in charge. He approves of the message. He approves of the message. Well, of course you do, you moron. The ad makes you out to be the great defender of the people and the last best hope for democracy. It says that your opponent is a malignant cancer who should be excised from the body politic and thrown off the planet. Of course you approve of it. He approves of it like a papal blessing. Go, little message. Spread your word. For me, it's the final knife in the back. It's so needless and stupid. So that has to be the point. After plying their trade, lying and promising, pandering and soliciting, they're still not convinced that we got the message. Psst, vote for me. 
because we suckers are many, and we are bone marrow stupid. They know that. So they drive home the final nail in the coffin, and that's what these ads are. Each one of them is a coffin, the death of a dream. Why the, why the colonists revolted, why soldiers fought and died, why we bother to vote. Heads up, suckers. My name is Blah Blah Bluey, and I approve of this message.